Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcy. Thank you for clicking on that thumbnail. Always showing up, showing y'all some love. Yes, we are outside. Um, it feels good out here. They said in California, this is going to be the coolest summer we have ever had. And uh, I'm kind of here for it. It's a little humid outside, but the sun is not beating down. So it's kind of warm. It's about like the mid seventies, but the clouds are in the air. So the sun is not shining bright, but you still feel that warmth, you all. Um, it feels very warm and tropical. And those are the fragrances that we're gonna be talking about today. You guys hear the beautiful birds. Um, you might hear some ducks or like some geese or something flying in the air you guys so um, there's a lake behind me a really beautiful lake that I'll love walking around you know throughout the summertime for the most part um, there was an alligator over there years ago uh, but anyway it's no longer there so if you are interested in some beautiful summer tropical florals please continue to watch like comment subscribe turn on those notification bells and we're gonna be talking about um, a fragrance today by the house of Navitas parfum I'm just gonna throw that in really quick um, in collaboration with Paulina Shar, and uh, we're going to discuss that one and let you all know that if um, if I like it or not follow me on Instagram as well um, you know all that good stuff so like I said we're gonna get the um, elephant in the room out of the way um, and we're gonna talk about briefly on the house of Navitas parfums and this is this is called kind intentions what really drew me to the fragrance um, is the name I was looking for my backup bottle like I said of Imperial Ambrosia you know to see when it was going to be released and then I saw Paulina Shar's kind intention like a turquoise aqua color bottle pop up on the screen and I was like oh okay another fragrance so um I think they said AI maybe coming out with maybe all of the influencers are coming out with like two fragrances but I know they said AI was coming out with a lotion um so Anyway, this is Kind Intentions. And like I said, what drew me to the fragrance is the bottle and the actual name, which is Kind Intentions. Navitas Parfums, like I said, in collaboration with Paulina Shar. So the bottle is absolutely gorgeous, you all. Beautiful bottle. This color, uh, it's almost like a mint green color. Um, the bottle is not matte. Y'all know I love my Kaali's fragrance, uh, Young Pistachio Gelato, which is a very matte colored with a white matte top. I do love this gold top. Um, the bottle, my favorite color growing up was mint green. Was mint green, now it's yellow. Um, I also, my favorite ice cream was mint green ice cream, y'all. Uh, mint, mint, not mint green ice cream, mint chocolate chip, y'all. <laughs> That's how much I love the color of mint okay it even flowed on over into my taste buds so um anyway such a gorgeous bottle like beautiful you guys um so i'll go ahead and review the notes so in here it says it says unapologetic uplifting and unforgettable um so in the notes you have your italian bergamot iris egyptian seaweed which um yeah i don't know what I, what that is i don't get it um italian mandarin iris uh, white floral blend uh, African olibanum and the base notes you have sandalwood benzoin Madagascar vanilla absolute uh, moss Indonesia musk the master perfumer is Jerome de Marino so um, I did a live on Instagram I actually did a first impressions on Instagram and I unboxed with my Instagram fam so upon first impressions I did I absolutely love the fragrance I've been wearing the fragrance for a couple days. You know, it's beautiful. So I'm not going to spray this outside because last time I sprayed, uh, bees came flying over, okay? And it ruined the whole video. Actually, it made it funny because I left all that in. So in here, the what I love most about this fragrance, it's a beautiful sandalwood. It's fresh. Um, it's a little musky in the dry down. It's actually very unisex, um, a little sweetened, very fresh in the opening, very citrusy in the opening. Like I said, it smells like um, you have your Italian Mandarin, which smells like bergamot. It smells like a bright, juicy, fresh bergamot. Um, the same as in uh, Yum Pistachio Gelato, you get that fresh bergamot in the opening. Now in the dry down, because I do not like the note of iris, and that's what I was a little afraid of. In the dry down, you do get like a little bit of a powdery, creamy iris. Um, it gets a little more feminine in the dry down, but in the opening, it's unisex. Um, it gets a little woody about you know 30 minutes later, and I sprayed this on my skin. 
Um, and then in the dry down, it gets a little more sweet and feminine to me, uh, but it still maintains that freshness, uh, the mandarin, you know, but the sandalwood in here, and I think it's the African olibanum. Yeah, the African olibanum completely stole the show, and it completely has my heart. I love the woodiness of this fragrance, which you really get for about two or three hours, and then it dries down into a um, slightly woody still. You still get that woodiness maintained, um, woodiness, but then you get that powdery iris, uh, but not a lipsticky iris, you all. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. It's gorgeous, and I love it, you know? I loved it upon first sniff. Um, now, I wore this to work for two days, and I usually get comments or compliments on my fragrance. I didn't get one compliment in two days on this fragrance. And I could smell myself running around the unit, so I know other people smell you. And usually people compliment me at work. It doesn't matter what I wear. So um, yeah, I don't know if it was, it seemed like it lasted at least eight hours. Um, when I wore it to bed one night, it lasted eight hours on my skin. And then it sat a little closer to the skin, but the projection was still good because I could still smell it without, you know, literally like sniffing my nose up to my skin. So that being said, when I was at home and I wore it over night it was good when I were to work the performance was good I got a little more of that woodiness in the air it was intoxicating if you like the woodiness this fragrance almost reminded me of the woodiness like I said not that it smells like guidance but the woodiness and guidance the Akigala wood um, and that's what I get I, I it smells like I get Akigala wood in here or like a really beautiful Australian sandalwood you all um, it's beautiful fresh unisex but to me a little feminine leaning and the dry down amazing i would only wear this fragrance in the summer um even though there's a lot of woody notes in here and the olibanum for the creaminess y'all um this is definitely a summer scent if you like um not me me where the sky touches the sea that's um memoirs of a perfume collector if you like the fragrance by um what is it? The Jardins de Misfa, the one that I just got. Um, there's That's a really good, pretty fresh sandalwood in there, almost airy, almost ambroxony. Then you're gonna love this fragrance or guidance with that Akigala wood. Or um, there's a couple other fragrances with a really good, rich, fresh, airy woodiness with some citruses on top, y'all. Um, yeah, I do love this fragrance and I'm definitely gonna be rocking it this summer, you guys. Get your nose on this. All right, all that being said, because that was like seven minutes, we're going to go through these beautiful fragrances, summer florals um, that I absolutely love. And these florals consist of a lot of tiari. Um, I am a yellow floral girl, you guys. I love tiari flower. I love frangipani. I love ilong ilong, like completely obsessed with it. Um, so those fragrance I have here today, most of them have both or all three, and they are combined with like coconut or mandarin or bergamot or some citruses to make them very tropical and beautiful for the summer. I'm obsessed with every single one of these fragrances in this box. If I were to buy them, if I were to run out of the, any of these fragrances in this box, I would perfectly, um, purposely, and to perfectly <laughs> purchase these fragrances again. I'm absolutely in love with them. So the very first one we're gonna talk about um, was is a new purchase. About a month, a month or two ago, I purchased this fragrance. And uh, and this is by the House of Monte Carlo Paris, uh, Paris Monte Carlo. Uh, this is the only fragrance that I do have by the house. And I think I'm gonna stick with the extracts. I think I even want to try the um, the Venide Tahiti extract uh, because this fragrance is so beautiful. But it also gives me Venide Tahiti in the dry down as well, you guys. Um, this is a, last time I think I said it was a 30 ml. Um, this is a 50 ml, okay, um, and it's a little on the pricey side, but it's absolutely worth it because you only need a little bit. So in here you have your fruits, pear, ilong ilong, rose, vanilla, and musk. Now in this fragrance, I get nothing but ilong ilong, like bright, bright ilong ilong. Now maybe there's some rose in it, but it's it's hiding, you guys. So maybe there's a little bit of rose in it, but I get ilong ilong, I get coconut, I get musk, and I get a vanilla in the dry down after about maybe 10 minutes. Um, it is beautiful, but if you love a good ilong ilong fragrance uh, with some vanilla, slight muskiness, not too musky, a little ambery, oh, this it's absolutely gorgeous and I love it. Um, this is ilong ilong nosy bee by Paris Monte Carlo. I keep wanting to say Monte Carlo Paris, Paris Monte Carlo. 
So the next one we're gonna talk about is one that I recently purchased not too long ago and I was super happy that I got it. This fragrance has been on my wish list and I've been stalking it for over the past three years, I think. Um, I've always wanted this fragrance Dubois. This was the very first fragrance Dubois fragrance that I actually um, have like completely have been stalking and have literally wanted but I really wasn't willing to put out the money for it uh, because it's super expensive I think it retails for like almost $700 um, but I got it at an amazing deal and um, since I do love the note of Ylang Ylang it came in this beautiful box of uh, fragrance Dubois such a stunning gorgeous fragrance and it's a beast you guys I wore this and I actually wore it today and I sprayed it on um, too much I sprayed it on I think eight times yeah, six or eight times and that was too much. I think next time I'm gonna stick with four sprays and be done because it's a beast, it's projecting. My sillage was absolutely amazing. I got two compliments uh, when I went up to the floor, uh, but y'all, I almost almost blew myself out the water. So anyway, this is the Fragrance Dubois Oud Juan Intense, you guys. And I got the 100 ml bottle. Um, the reason why I love this fragrance so much, I actually went through a 10 ml of this fragrance when I was over in Paris. Um, and I just completely fell in love with the fragrance. But like I said, I could not. I couldn't do it. I already have enough fragrances that are like ridiculously priced. But look at the juice. Ooh, the juice is like orange. Um, I don't want it to drop. Okay. Um, the top is amazing. The top is very light. Do not pick these fragrances fragrances up, any of Fragrance Dubois um, uh, fragrances by the top because your glass will completely shatter and fall on the floor because they're a little loose. Um, anyway, in this fragrance, now, don't be afraid of the oud. The oud just adds like a slight, I think, a bitterness to this fragrance, you know? It's not a very heavy oud or either it's the Ylang Ylang, the pineapple, the tiari flower, the woodiness of this fragrance that's absolutely covering up the oud you guys but i am in love like this is my favorite ylang ylang paris monte carlo ylang ylang nosy b and this one are super sophisticated luxurious the most luxurious fragrances that i have in my collection today we will be talking about these are all lush sophisticated elegant you know they exude tropical elegance you all so um in this fragrance you have your tiari flower a tahitian tiari felt tiari flower which is gardenia tahitian gardenia is tiari flower um, you have your jasmine orange blossom vanilla musk you have some fruity notes and some oud like i said this fragrance it's a tiari flower beast okay it's an ilang ilang beast okay it's uh the most amazing tropical floral these two like i said are some of the most amazing ilang ilang tropical floral fragrances that I have in my collection and I am absolutely in love, you guys. The pineapple in here um, just adds a little bit of fruitiness to it. It says there's some other fruity notes as well, uh, but only thing I get in there are maybe, maybe there's some like lush mangoes, you know, because I do get yellow fruits, you know, uh, but I really pick up on a prominent note of pineapple, you all. Um, I thought I saw a beetle. Okay, anyway, let's continue. <laughs> um, so the next one we're gonna talk about is uh, Bora Bora. And I love the white bottles. Um, they look pretty basic, but they're also classic too. Um, and this is by Gia Giardini de Toscana. Love the label, even though it's paper. Um, now, a lot of people, this is definitely a gourmand leaning yellow floral, slightly gourmand leaning yellow floral, you know, because of that caramel. The more and more I let this fragrance sit, it the sweeter it gets so I am I am picking up a little more on that uh, apricot and a little bit more of that caramel and that vanilla since I've sprayed it multiple times you know but initially you definitely get the white and yellow florals in this fragrance but it's absolutely beautiful you get a lactonicness a milkiness a creaminess in this fragrance um, so if you want something and I'll also pick up on a almost like a shampooy like a maybe tiari flower shampoo but it's giving me a soapy vibe as well. Um, I think that's another reason why I like this fragrance because it's completely different th than any of the other ones. So you get that soapy, creamy, um, ilang ilang and tiari flower, um, the apricot coconut milk, which makes it a little lactonic. Um, the white musk is beautiful in here, caramel and vanilla. But like I said, it's not too sweet. It's very creamy, slightly, slightly gourmand leaning. Uh, but I absolutely love it, you guys. Get your nose on this. It is absolutely 
beautiful, luxurious, lush, you know. It's it's almost decadent as well. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous uh, fragrance that you could wear for the summer. And if you wanted to just be a little more bright in the fall, this would actually roll on over into the fall as well. Uh, spring, summer, and the fall. But y'all, the fragrance, this fragrance in the summer is going to be absolutely amazing. I'm gonna try to go in order, y'all. So the next fragrance we have is uh, Gucci, and this is Chat for the Nymph. The bottle is stunning. I love this bottle and I love the fragrance because of the vanilla inside. The vanilla in this fragrance is stunning. It's creamy. It's sweet. Not sickly sweet. It's a luxurious sweet scent. Um, so in here you have your frangipani, tiari flower, ilang ilang, and vanilla. There's a lot of vanilla in this fragrance. So it's absolutely, it's beautiful. The bot, the bottle is gorgeous, uh, but you really get a lot of creamy vanilla, tiari flower, and ylang ylang. Um, some of these fragrances, yes, they're all pretty similar, but by what you would like, it's based on the aesthetics, the bottle that you wanna see, because all of these fragrances are prominent in the note of ylang ylang tiari flower, and smells a little coconutish as well, like super tropical, you guys. Uh, but I love Gucci Champ for the nymph. Super creamy, super creamy, vanilla and yellow florals. It's beautiful. And the bottle is stunning. All right. So the next one is one. Oh, I keep saying one of my faves, one of my faves. Y'all, this is one of my favorites. Uh, this is Moon Glory by The Harmonist. <sighs> Moon Glory is like my favorite honey fragrance, actually. This is. Uh, but you got your honey, Hawaiian jasmine, lychee, passion flower. You have some hanoki wood in here, uh, which gives it a little bit of its woodiness. It's fruity as well, you know? It almost smells, oh, uh, it's this fragrance is intoxicating. It almost smells a little coconutty pineapple you know, with some fruits drowned in honey, with your tiari lays on as if, you're are, if, as if you are in Hawaii. This fragrance is absolutely gorgeous, slightly powdery, slightly powdery, but it's it, it just like honeyed, honeyed fruits, honeyed tropical fruits, drizzled, just succulent, decadent. It smells like honey straight from a beehive. Not on a mallet, you guys. But you gotta love the note of honey to love this fragrance. And I absolutely love it because I love honey. I even love some animalic honey, um, honey scents and fragrances. But this one right here, Moon Glory is intoxicating. Um, the fragrance Ombre Magique, it smells similar to this, but this has a lot, a lot, a lot of honey in it. On top of it, on top of it being fruity, you guys. Uh, but Ombre Magique by Mise en Cire kind of reminds me of this fragrance with a little bit of honey in, and but that one's a little more ambery and vanilla. This one's definitely more tropical, you guys. But if you love that fragrance, then you'll love this one, and vice versa. Uh, but love this, the Harmonist Moon Glory. I hope you guys are enjoying the uh, the scenery while I take my two minute to reach for my fragrance um, uh, intermission. <laughs> Um, so the next one we're going to talk about is one that I absolutely love as well. It's a beautiful, let me wipe the bottle off because it's super reflective. Um, this is Kayali. I love my Kayali. Um, this is Kayali Utopia Vanilla Cocoa 21, you guys. Um, in here, there's a beautiful honey suckle scent. The honeysuckle in here is amazing. Um, I love honeysuckle in Flower Bomb by Victor and Roth. And I think this one I absolutely love as well. Um, I was about to say it's my favorite, but I'm gonna stop saying things are my favorite. Uh, but yeah, the honeysuckle in here, the, I think there's tiari flower in here. Um, there's honeysuckle, white florals, lemon, vanilla, sandalwood, and coconut. Um, so this doesn't give you the white florals. I think there's, I think there's tiari flower, there's gardenia and tuberose, um, but it gives you the scent of yellow florals, like frangipani, ilang ilang. It gives you all of that, you all. But oh, coconutty, powdery coconut. Like I said once before, this smells like powdered, sugared coconut strips uh, with some white and yellow florals on top. I absolutely love it. Get your nose on it. Uh, Utopia Vanilla Cocoa 21, you guys. You guys, I think I saw a FedEx truck pass by and it might be for me, but whatever. If I miss it, they'll come back, okay? Or they'll leave the package at the door. Um, so anyway, the next uh, one we have 
is Narcisa Rodriguez. I have a designer, you guys. Um, I love this fragrance, super affordable. You can find this on the gray market. Um, so a lot of these are, this smells very upscale um, and very luxurious and elegant, but it's super affordable. So in here, um, it's a musky, it's considered a musky floral. You have your white florals, cedar, frangipani, ilang ilang, amber, and musk. This smells like it has tons of ilang ilang, frangipani, musky, not too musky, but you get those musky yellow florals. You get um, some vanilla in here, slightly woody gorgeous fragrance creamy but you get you definitely get that signature narciso rodriguez musk in here that i absolutely love on top of a beautiful white yellow um white and yellow florals with a bunch of vanilla you guys get your nose on it and this is ombre by narciso rodriguez all right so the next one we're going to talk about is an affordable one as well and this is the only Mansara fragrance I think I do have in my collection. Um, I had Rose's Vinny, I decluttered that. I had two other ones um, and I decluttered those as well. So this is the only one, this is the last man standing out of the Mansara family in my fragrance collection. And I think it's actually the older one because it comes with like a screw on top as well. Um, I'm definitely gonna be pulling this one out this summer. Um, there's some C notes in this fragrance and that's why I like it. But you still get like those yellow and white florals with some beautiful fresh C notes um, and some woody notes as well. Definitely unisex, slightly sweetened, but you still get um, some beautiful florals in here. So in holidays, you have your coconut, tiari flower, ilang ilang, sea notes, sandalwood, a juicy bergamot, but it's beautiful. Like I said, this one's a little more unisex because it's a little woodier, you know, and you got those sea notes to kind of, it doesn't smell suntanny to me, but you definitely have, um, like I said, the sea notes to make it a little more airy, fresh, and the citruses from the bergamot to make it a little more unisex, you all. Uh, unisex, still slightly feminine leaning. I love holidays, amazing, affordable summer fragrance. Get your nose on it. If you like the new one, Juliet, uh, by Juliet Has a Gun, they came out with, I think it's Sun Something, then you're gonna love this fragrance, and this fragrance is a beast, you guys. Uh, but I smelled that fragrance and I had too many, too many yellow floral, vanillic, um, sunshine in a bottle type fragrances, you know, because that is exactly what this is. So I opted not to get that one. I have a little sample of it, but it's nice. But, you know, I have too much. OK, um, anyway, it's beautiful. Um, so the next one we have is doesn't have the notes or the uh, notes of Tiari flower. Ylang, Ylang Ylang or Frangipani, but it has coconut, bergamot, jasmine, jasmine tea, vanilla, and benzoin. Um, Alien Goddess Intent. This fragrance literally smells like there's so much Ylang Ylang and Frangipani inside and Tiari Flower inside, but I think it's probably the combination of the jasmine, a beautiful jasmine in this fragrance. You get the jasmine, a little bit of that jasmine tea, not very much. There's a slight um, tea note, an underlying tea note in this fragrance, but literally you get all the yellow florals, the white florals, and the vanilla and the benzoin to make it a little powdery and sweet. There's a lot of vanilla in here. Even though it is enlisted, it smells like yellow florals, you guys. It's beautiful. I love it. Amazing all year long, but will definitely shine in the summer. And this is Alien Goddess Intense. All right, the next one we have is one that I absolutely love and I've always been head over heels for this fragrance. Finally found it. Um, and this is Terracotta by the House of Guerlain. I love Terracotta, y'all. Y'all already know it, okay? Because I talk about it every summer and uh, every spring, okay? So in Terracotta, you have your Tiari Flower Coconut Bergamot, um, Orange Blossom, you have some Vanilla uh, and Ylang Ylang. I didn't realize there was Orange Blossom in this fragrance because it doesn't really give me um, I actually get a little bit of rose, like underlying rose in this fragrance. But it's absolutely beautiful. It smells like sun in a bottle with a burst of vanilla. Like I said, all of these fragrances smell like 50% to 75% similar. Um, do you need all of them? It just depends on what you want. If you want a powdery, creamy, upscale, uh, run around town, tiari flower, ilang ilang, um, it just all depends on what you want in your collection. But this fragrance is here to stay. Um, and I'm loving it. Tiari flower by Guerlain. I mean, terracotta by Guerlain. 
All right, the next one we have, y'all, everybody loves and knows this fragrance, and I love it as well, and this is by M. Mika Love, and this is Elang and Gold. Y'all, my fragrance is like a little, my juice is a little brown, but I'm loving it because it's absolutely gorgeous, um, especially in the sun. When I spray this on my skin, I get all of the sparkles, y'all. So in Elang and Gold, you got your peach, coconut, you got some Elang. This one, this fragrance here, if you don't like um, the scent of Elang Elang or Frangipan, or you know um, or those like bright yellow florals then you may want to try this one because this one gives you a little bit more of a subdued tropical-esque sweeter um, type vibe uh, but definitely people say this smells like a, a little bit of banana um, I kind of get that like a, a little bit of a pineapple tropical coconutty banana smoothie not creamy but the scent the fruitiness um, of that of that smoothie um, you have your peach lychee coconut mandarin vanilla and musk um, love this fragrance you know it'll always be in my collection like I said I actually ordered the white bottle because that bottle came out after this I've had this one for years uh, but the white bottle so it's absolutely beautiful and I've been looking at it for the past year so um, I'm happy to have it but I'm definitely going to be wearing this i want to finish a bottle this summer you guys my goal is to finish one of these bottles this summer maybe not one of the bottles that was hard to get like not the terracotta guerlain or not the ujuan intense i'm not finishing those bottles but maybe i'll try to finish this bottle since i do have another bottle on the way but i love this juice in here y'all it's absolutely gorgeous and you get that peachy uh, peachy ilang ilang slight um it's kind of like the lychee not that super bright sharp lychee but it's like the lychee that i get in moon glory um the same lychee it's a really fruity very smooth silky um fruity lychee scent it's beautiful you all get your nose on this all right, so the next one I have is Martha, and it's by the House of Mimo Pears, and this is for my two bros lovers, okay? My creamy two bros lovers that want a little bit of brightness and ylang ylang in their uh, summer set. Uh, the bottle's beautiful, it's the protective eye. I love it. Um, so in Martha, you get your orange blossom, you get your mandarin, sandalwood, ylang ylang. It's very ambery, musky. Um, you get a little agave, which I think agave kind of sweetens everything up, uh, but it's absolutely, Marfa is gorgeous. You definitely get a beautiful note of orange blossom. And like I said, that Ilang Ilang in here, you get that as well. And you get a really creamy tube rose. This dries down absolutely stunning. Very sophisticated, very elegant, very upscale. Um, and y'all, I love this. I love this fragrance and I love the bottle too, okay? Um, and last, not last but not least, we have two more. Um, let's talk about, and this is for the guys that I think they can't wear uh, because this is a little heavier on the amber. Um, you get your truffle in here. Um, and this is a black orchid by Tom Ford. Yes, this does have Ilang Ilang inside. It's beautiful, dark, rich, ambery. It's sexy, but you definitely get that beautiful brightness of an Ilang Ilang, that truffle, you know. The sweetness from the vanilla you know this is strong you guys i've worn this fragrance one time one time out in the i think it was like the fall um so i would say this is probably good for summer nights but if you want a rich dark you know almost gothic ambery ilang ilang fragrance with that beautiful note of truffle inside um you might want to try tom ford's black orchid parfum y'all this is definitely unisex but men you can wear ilang ilang too okay get your nose on this all right, last but not least is one that's super affordable, and this is Jasmine of Athens. Y'all, I love this fragrance. This smells like creamy yellow florals and vanilla, you know? Mm, it's so good. Creamy yellow and white florals and vanilla. Love it. Get your nose on it. Super affordable. This is by the House of Theodorus Calatinis. But like I said, if you love Ilang Ilang, Jasmine, Frangipani, vanilla, bright, rich, um, just sweet you know um then you might want to get your nose on this fragrance and it's the the price is amazing you know for the quality of the fragrance the price is absolutely amazing anyway it's intoxicating you guys um this reminds me of this you know but this is definitely sweeter you know this is a little more powdery in the dry down the vanilla but yeah the price difference is crazy but pretty much you get the same quality of fragrance you all 
um that is all go on to the world spread amazing see how she do good be good and let me know down in the comments if you love a note of yellow florals i'm a yellow floral white floral girl um heady and dalek and dalek you know all of that but these are not so much you know uh but i do love yellow florals they just make me feel super feminine um you know just exuding that femininity and that energy um you know that would just flow on over into the universe y'all all right go on to the world spread amazing Siage, do good, be good, and leave me your favorite yellow floral, be it frangipani, ilang ilang, um, tiari flower, white floral, um, down in the comments, or let me know what is your most favorite luxurious yellow floral fragrance uh, with a tropical note of coconut and maybe some citruses um, down in the comments, you all. All right, bye bye. Go on to the world, spread amazing siage, do good, be good, and I absolutely love you all. And y'all, check out these earrings. Um, these are by Earrings, etc., over on Instagram. I will We'll link the page down below um, definitely most fun for the summer uh, beautiful maybe with a beautiful dress um, or dress them up dress them down you guys all right bye bye Mwah.